My hair might be speaking volumes after that one. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it is burning, but ah, feels so good. This legs and push workout is gonna make you feel so strong. Not make you feel, you are going to be so strong. So go kick some butt. I am so excited that you're here for our push plus legs workout. This workout today is really gonna work those push muscles. That is our chest, our shoulders, and our triceps, as well as some lower body exercises to really work to strengthen and build our muscles. And then the only thing you need for this workout will be your mat or a cushy surface, your dumbbells, of course, and today we are going to need a chair. If you have an exercise bench, that's gonna work perfect as well. You may have a bed or a couch nearby, so grab that and have that handy. We have three total rounds today. In each round, we're gonna have two upper body exercises that we work through two times, and then one lower body exercise that we're gonna work through three times. The working timer is gonna be set for 40 seconds, rest in between each exercise is 20 seconds, and then in between each round, we will have one minute to recover. So the first exercise we're gonna do is on the mat. We are gonna work push-ups, and then we're gonna work chest press, and finally, we're gonna work alternating rear lunges. So let's head down to the mat for our push-ups, and let's get this workout started. All right, so bringing it down for push-ups, optional. You can do these on your knees or on your toes. So let's get into position and let's begin. Squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. Exhale as you press away. Press that floor away from you. Good. If you're working to get your push-ups on your toes, try to do just a few on your toes and bring it to your knees whenever you need to but good form is gonna be key to help build and strengthen those muscles in your push-ups. Breathing, almost there. And one, good, press it back. All right, we're gonna go for that again. One more round for push-ups, and then we're gonna grab our weights for chest press, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Going in five seconds. And let's begin. Over halfway. My form is getting a little questionable, so I'm taking it to the knees. And one, awesome. All right, going into chest press. So grab your dumbbells for that. And let's roll it onto our backs, getting ready to go. We've got 10 seconds before we go. I'll show you the exercise right quick, and then we'll get right into it. So we're gonna be pressing up and down. Let's begin. And press, good. Exhale with that press up. Good. Challenging combo here with the push-ups and the chest press. We've got just over 20 minutes, so we are going to make this count. Now we are working on building that muscular strength, so make sure you are challenging yourself with heavy enough dumbbells. Last one, but always listen to your body. If you need to adjust the weight down or up at any time, make sure to do so. Breathing. This is our second round through. We go in less than 10 seconds. Getting back into position, feet planted. Let's begin, 40 seconds. And press, good. Make sure you're working full range of motion all the way down to all the way up. Again, think about squeezing. You've got a ball in the underarm area and you are squeezing that as you press up. That's really gonna help you focus and activate those chest muscles. Well over halfway, you've got just a few reps left. 
And we're gonna bring it up for those alternating rear lunges. And one, good. So you will see a modification down here on the ground if you are uh, working, if you do not wanna work lunges. So you'll see that modification. If not, bring it up. You can use dumbbells for this exercise, but we're gonna alternate back, keeping that chest up, and then the other side. But let's begin. Keep your chest up, core engaged. Three times through for our lower body exercises. And down, good. Well over halfway, few reps left. And one, Whew, awesome. Breathe it out, adjust your weight if you need to. Awesome combo today with our push and lower body because we are really working it all right now. It's gonna bring the heart rate up, but it's really gonna help to push you through this workout and make this 20 minutes count. We gotta go again. The time has begun. Here we go. Reverse alternating lunge. Chest stays up. Exhale as you lower down here. That leading leg, the leg that's in the front, you wanna keep the weight in your heel. Think about making a 90 degree angle with that front leg and the back leg on this one. Good, over halfway. Now we've got just one more round of this, or one more set, I should say, of our lunges. Three, two, one. Breathe it out. Adjust your weights if you need to. Now, if you do not have a chair, couch, bench, anything nearby, you can do each of these exercises that's gonna be coming up in rounds two and three without the chair. Oh, putting that out there, because we're getting close. So if you're like, oh no, I don't have my chair yet. You can do these exercises without that. But we'll get into that in just under two minutes. Down and up, good. Halfway, check your form. Don't let your form start to go. I know this is getting tough, but you're almost there. Breathing. Last one down and up, awesome. Set your, whew, set your weights off to the side. We are going into a shoulder press. So this is where we're gonna use the chair. These next three exercises, we are gonna use the chair. Again, chair will be optional. Oh, hello, baby pug. All right, so for this exercise, we are going to do a shoulder press. Now you can do this standing, but when you're seated, it's really going to isolate those shoulders. You're not gonna have the core to help you, so it's gonna be all shoulders with the seated position. So it's really gonna help us focus on building strength in those shoulder muscles. That's gonna be the first exercise. Then we're gonna do a seated front raise, just like this. Again, you can do this standing, just like that. And then we're gonna do a squat where we tap our bum on the chair. Optional with the chair again, you can just do a normal squat. So grab your dumbbells for your shoulder press. <sighs> Challenge yourself with the weight here. Have a seat and let's begin. Good, pressing it up overhead. Core is engaged still, but this really isolates that shoulder muscle. Shoulder muscles. There are more than just one that we're working. Good. So I really do like to throw seated exercises in occasionally because it's mixing it up again. It's challenging those muscles in a new way. So it can be the same exercise with a little twist and you're gonna get even more out of that. Almost there, control it up and control it down. Last one. Oh, awesome. Breathing here. We've got that one more time. I'm even focusing on going a little bit heavier because I really want to work on that muscular strength today with this seated shoulder press. 
But again, listen to your body. Do what feels comfortably uncomfortable for you. How about that? That's a good way to put it. Where you're pushing, you're challenging yourself, but you've still got good form. You're keeping as safe as possible. Good. And press. I'm just gonna switch the chair around to a different angle. Keep pressing. I just want you to get both angles here with this move. <sighs> Sitting up nice and tall. <sighs> all the way up, all the way down. <sighs> this is tough. Good. Oh, breathe it out here. All right, we've got 20 seconds. I'm going way down in weight now because we are gonna do that front raise. Leading with the tops of your hands to the ceiling. In that seated position, again, optional, do this standing. But I'm gonna sit right on the edge so my hands can come back down to this position. We're gonna lift and lower. So let's begin here. Bringing it just up to shoulder height, not too high. Controlling it. Again, this is isolating your shoulder muscles. You cannot swing while you're in this seated position. But keeping that chest up, shoulders rolled down and back. Not working to throw out as many reps as we can, but we are working to get the best form we can. So controlling it up and down. Almost there. Last one. Good. Whew. One more time through. I'm just gonna turn this back around. So if you need to adjust your weight, go ahead and do so now. I am sweating up a storm over here. We gotta go. Let's begin. Keeping those knees pinned in right on the edge of the chair so your arms have the ability to come straight back down. Good. Anymore. Breathing. That squat's gonna be next. Three sets of that. And then we'll be on our final round. Look how awesome you're doing. We have made it halfway through this workout. Push and dig in, you got 10 seconds. Literally pushing because this is a push workout. And one. Awesome, rest it out. If you want to adjust your weight for that squat, you can do that now. I am going to use just one dumbbell, more of like a goblet squat position. So I'm gonna have one dumbbell here. I'm gonna be tapping the bum and back up. I'm gonna tap and back up. I'm gonna turn it to the side, make it a little bit easier. And let's begin. So this might take just a few reps just to get that positioning to where you're just tapping the bum back. Good, core engaged. Modification, you are not using the chair and you're lowering it just as much as you need to for this. Down and up, squeeze. Don't forget, get that little squeeze at the top with the glutes. Good. A few reps left. Squeeze. And one, awesome. Rest it out, you can set your weight down if you need to. Grab a drink, dry off. I'm gonna dry off really quick. Oh, it really works. When you're hitting the upper and the lower like that, whew, it is awesome. We've gotta go, three seconds. Get that dumbbell back up and let's begin. Tap and tap. Don't hold it on the seat. We're not there to rest. We are just tapping and bringing it back up. I am struggling to find my, my foot position here that I'd like. And squeeze, good. Over halfway. One more round of this. Down and squeeze. Last one, down and up, awesome. One more round, just gonna adjust my chair. How you doing? We've almost made it through round two, which means we've got a one minute recovery coming up. 
going in five seconds here. Get into position. Let's begin. Here we go. Good. Tap it and squeeze. Weight stays in the heels here in this move. Halfway. Good, squeeze. 10 seconds. Round three, we are really gonna target those tricep muscles. Last one, and up. Good, set your weights down. Now for this, you can set your chair off to the side, or you can use this, again, to really target those tricep muscles. So we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. You can do that optional standing. But if you wanna use your chair, really targeting this, not allowing any swing, any momentum in this, we're gonna be right here. Down and squeeze. So that, that's the option with or without the chair. Then we're going to do dips just like this on our chair, down and up. Finally, we're gonna do a glute bridge or a hip thrust with our feet on the chair. Modification again, no chair. Totally fine, you can do all of those without that. But let's think about our weight now for that overhead tricep extension. I wanna challenge you, we're working the back of the arm, so pick something. I'm gonna use just one dumbbell for this. What do I wanna use? I'm gonna start here. We've gotta get into position, bring that weight up, core engaged, and we begin. And press back up to the sky. Again, no swinging here, focusing all on that tricep muscle down. Elbows pinned in to your head here. Down and squeeze. Awesome. Keeping that core engaged. Almost there. We've got three, two, and one. Nice. If you need to adjust your weight, grab it now. Get it ready. I gotta dry off again. Oh my. Whew. Breathing. We've got five seconds and we go. Let's bring that weight up. We go in three, two, and one. Good, down and up. Shoulders are away from your ears. You're lowering all the way down as low as you can go and then pressing all the way back up straight. That's gonna be your full range of motion. Good. And press, keeping those elbows tucked in, not letting them flare out to the sides. But can you see, nothing else is helping you with this. It's just that tricep muscle when you're in this seated position. So that is awesome. Again, challenging those muscles in a new way. <sighs> These dips are gonna be next and they are gonna be, they're gonna be tough, for sure, because those tricep muscles are tiring out right now. Setting your weight down off to the side. We don't need that. Again, you can do this on the ground. Form is gonna be the same. Fingertips are gonna be towards your bum. Elbows are gonna be pressing back. You want to keep your bum close to the chair. So it'll look just like this. You can join me now, down and up. So keep yourself close to the chair. You don't wanna be out here trying to do the dip. You wanna be nice and close here in. Down and up. Elbows are going to that wall behind you. Focus on, focusing on lowering down, pressing all the way back up. Down and up, good. Modify, you can bring those legs closer in, so more of a 90 degree angle with those legs. It brings up the intensity as you bring those legs out. And one, good, rest it out. Breathing here. Oh. Oh. Drying off again. My oh my, we got 10 seconds, we go. But keep this in mind, this is your last time for an upper body exercise. This is it for triceps, we go into lower body. Let's begin, last time, let's make this count. Down and press. Again, keep that back close to your chair. 
core engaged, chest up. Bringing those legs in if you need a modification or out if you wanna challenge those tricep muscles even more. You're more than halfway. 10 seconds, my arms are on fire. How are your arms? They should be feeling mighty fine right now. Strong. Last one. Oh, good. All right, we gotta go right into this. So if you are using a dumbbell for your glute bridge, I'm gonna use just one, you can use two, but grab a weight that's gonna challenge you. This is more intense than on the ground. But let's bring it down, because we gotta get right into it. So you're gonna keep those heels on the chair, just like this, heels on the chair. We're gonna lift, squeeze. This is giving us more of a range of motion. So we're really working those muscles. Squeeze, good and press weights in the heels, in your shoulder blades. You're holding it for a second at the top before you control it down. Again, you can do this without a dumbbell. That's totally fine. And squeeze. Awesome lower body burn right now. Three times through for this. Hold it up. Last one. Squeeze and down. Awesome. Set your weight off to the side for just a second because we're gonna go right back into this. Breathing. Again, doing a regular glute bridge with feet on the ground without your chair. <gasps> Grab that weight. We go in three, two, one. Press it up. Two more sets here and you have made it. <gasps> down. Press it up, squeeze. Hold it, hold it, and down. I'm gonna count you up on these holds here. I want you to hold it. Three, two, one. Lower it. Good, hold it. Three, two, one. Control it down, almost there. Press it up, hold it. Three, two, one. Bring it down, and that's that. All right, one more round for this. Breathing, shake it out if you need to. Whatever you need to do. I'm not sure what this was, but uh, it helped a little bit anyway. Okay, legs on fire. We've gotta go. Last set, let's begin. Squeeze, good. Squeeze it up, and down. Can you feel those muscles activating? You can really feel this down the back of your leg and in your glute muscles. Oh, squeeze, amazing. You are over halfway now. Don't forget to breathe. All right, last hold for three. Two, one, bring it down, set your weight off to the side. <sighs> Carefully bring it on up. You did it, that was amazing. You rocked it out, what in the world? That was our push and legs workout. Mm. It was awesome and I'm so glad you joined me for that. You helped push me along because I was getting a little shaky with the three sets of legs there, but we did it. You are awesome, there is a workout that is the pull and abs workout. So if you wanna check that out, that's gonna be right there for you. But if you are done with your workouts for today, that stretch is oh so tasty and it is waiting for you. So I will see you right over at either one of those. Thank you again for joining me. You are the bomb.com and I love you.